Hello and welcome to this fresh and new Sidefinity CMS 13 video tutorial series. This is Nishant and I am going to teach you step by step what is Sidefinity CMS, how to set up local development environment for Sidefinity and how to host the Sidefinity project on IIS server. I will also teach you how to upgrade the Sidefinity version but today let's start first with the setup for local development environment. Let's begin without wasting time. So for Sidefinity, you should have at least basic knowledge of ASP.NET MVC and Visual Studio because at the end of the day, Sidefinity is just an ASP.NET MVC application. So I have already opened the Visual Studio and I'm going to select the template for ASP.NET web application. Click next and uh, let's give it a meaningful name. Sidefinity web app I have given it the framework should be 4. Point, uh, dot .NET framework version should be 4.7 or higher so it is selected by default let's create let's select an empty web application so you can see our newly created Sidefinity web app sample project has been created in the Visual Studio now to install Sidefinity uh, CMS, uh, we need to, uh, the best way to install it via Nugget. So Sidefinity has a dedicated uh, Nugget library for uh, installing Sidefinity. Uh, let's go to that. So you can see, uh, this is the Sidefinity Nugget official website. You can also Google it by uh, writing like Sidefinity Nugget. So you can uh, search that link also from here so if I click on how to use Sidefinity Nugget packages it will redirect me to the documentation of Sidefinity and uh, you can also uh, follow all the steps mentioned here so I'm directly going to uh, add this Sidefinity source in the Visual Studio I will also add this link to the description of the video you can have a reference from here let's go to the uh, visual studio let's go to the tools let's go to the nugget package manager settings if i go to the package sources you can see i have already sitefinity nugget dot com added here the best practice is to uh, set it as default so i'm going to mark it as on top of the package sources so it will be a default set whenever you are going to install any package from the nugget click ok and uh, open the nugget package manager solution so from the package source you can select sitefinity nugget and search for Telerik dot Sitefinity. Sorry. So when you browse Telerik dot Sitefinity, it will show you. Two packages. So you can install Sidefinity by by installing either package but the difference is Telerik.Sidefinity.all have all the packages for Sidefinity but Progress.Sidefinity have only the necessary components. So once you have installed the, all the packages uh, for performance wise and for, uh, uh, for the application Progress.Sidefinity is good because uh, whatever the packages you would uh, you would require uh, later you can install it uh, manually so many of the packages are not there in progress.sidefinity like uh, a b testing and uh, analytics etc so whatever package you would like to install later you can directly come to this sidefinity nugget package source 
and you can directly uh, browse it from here and install it. Let's select progress.sitefinity for now. So you can see uh, the latest stable version is 14 but I am going to install uh, any of the 13 version so that I can also show you uh, how to install that and uh, later I will also show you that uh, how to upgrade the uh, version itself. So I am going to install this uh, 7630 version and let's click on install. So it will going to take some time. So let's wait. So you can see all the dependencies are gathered. Now I click on I accept. It is now going to install all the dependencies. So guys you can see all of my installations and dependencies have been completed and you can see a uh, structure here as ape data and admin app has been installed and the MVC folders are there with the uh, default controllers views and models and guys let me tell you that in the background I have changed the uh, .NET framework from 4.7 to 4.8 because I was uh, getting some errors while installing it so if you guys also got some errors you can let me know in the comment section or you can resolve it yourself that's up to you so I'm going to now build the project and uh, run it let me see this I'm choosing it run without debugging so that I can quickly run it so you can see that it is asking me for an activate license so either you can use your Teleri account or if you have any uh, license file you can use it so I'm going to use a license file which is which I have so I'm going to use it uh, from one of my I have it so I'm going to choose this now I click on activate license now it is redirecting me to the local So uh, now it is asking to uh, install, uh, set up a database. So I'm going to use it from Microsoft SQL Server. I'm going to now I'm going to put the database credentials here. So that it will create a database in the uh, SQL Server for Sitefinity. I'm going to put the server details here. So you can see I have copied the server details from SQL Server and copied here. I'm going to give it a name as Sitefinity 13. Now continue. So it will uh, set up the new project and will also create the database will take us several minutes for this now it is asking me to register a administrator i'm going to give it a name as you can use your email id i'm going to use it here my own one i'm going to give it a password i'm done It is now initializing and creating new tables. So you can see our project is now up and running and you can see the dashboard page. So which is the main main page for Sitefinity application. So that's it for today. We will see in coming videos how to create uh, widgets in Sitefinity and uh, how to uh, create components. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.